Hey there, this is Clay Andrews. I'm the world's leading breakup expert for high achievers. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get your ex to chase you. Okay, this is something that a lot of people um, are interested in. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them are kind of motivated by uh, you know doing mind games, reverse psychology and stuff like that. And um, obviously I don't want you to be doing anything like that because I don't think that that is a good foundation for a great relationship. Uh, what I do want you to do instead is to understand that um, there's kind of this this like core belief that a lot of um, these these sort of advice type things are based on, and that belief is that you know we all want what we can't have, right? That's why you got to do the reverse psychology. That's why you got to play mind games. That's why you got to pretend like you're not interested in your ex or pretend like you're aloof and distant or pretend like you're dating 10 billion other people or something like that, right? Because we all want what we can't have, right? But that's not really true. It really isn't. Um, instead, you know, we, we all don't want what we can't have. Like for better or worse, biologically as a man, I am unable to give birth to a child. I will never feel the agonizing pain as a you know child's head and full body squeeze through a very tiny opening in my body ripping my body apart causing me agonizing pain for hours on end that is just not something that i am physically able to experience however i do not want to experience this either um, because you know even though i cannot have it i do not want it right all, we all want we can't have is not true instead it is much more important to realize that we all want what is valuable, okay? So um, in order to get your ex to come to you, to chase after you, you have to get rid of this belief that we all want and we can't have, right? So um, if, so, you know, if you think that like, all you have to do is just like date around or pretend like you're disinterested or something like that, that your ex is gonna come after you, that is a big lie and it's not going to help you because your ex probably broke up with you. And if that is the case, then um, there is some part of them that does not want to have you. There is some part of them that does not want to be in a relationship with you. And it's going to take more than just being something that they can't have that is going to make them want to be with you again. Okay, so what is going to make them want to be with you? That is being able to be valuable to them, okay? And uh, we all want what is valuable regardless of whether or not it is, you know, playing hard to get or doing mind games on us or whatever, right? We all want what is valuable. So how do you be valuable to the point where your ex is going to want to come out of their way to interact with you, come out of their way to see you, come out of their way to contact you, to chase after you, to ask you out, all of that stuff, right? How do you become valuable? And the way that you do that is by focusing on the quality of the connection between you and your ex. That is by focusing on how you and your ex are connecting, right? Um, and so the best way that I have found in working with people going through breakups since 2009 is to focus on the quality of the connection. That is focusing on advanced relational skills. These are the skills that will allow you to connect and have a deeper emotional impact and deeper emotional connection with your ex to the point where, you know, the two of you can leave from, from meeting up for coffee or from a text message conversation or from a phone call or whatever you might be using to communicate with them. Um, and they'll be left thinking like, wow, that was a really uplifting and really powerful conversation that we had. I feel like my ex uh, gets me and understands me better than anyone else out there. And do you think if you, if, if your ex like really thinks that, that, that you get them better than anyone else out there, if they really get that you understand them and, and can connect with them in a much deeper way than anyone else out there, do you think that they would be willing to go out of their way to come to you? Do you think that they'd be willing to go out of their way to contact you, to call you, to ask you to meet up, to want to be in a relationship together with you again? You had better believe it. And um, you know that is how you get your ex to come to you. That is how you get your ex to chase after you. You do it by focusing on having a great quality connection between you and them, okay? So focus on those advanced relational skills. Now, if you'd like to learn more about these skills, how you can start to cultivate them, and how you can start to use them uh, between you and your ex so that you can get back together with them and uh, get them to actually you know, start initiating things with you, 
then here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to go to the website, relationshipinnergame.com. Uh, you know, you can just go down and click on the link in the description below this video, or you can just type it into your browser. And what I'd like you to do there is to just sign up for our email newsletter, and we'll start sharing tips, advice, and actionable things that you can do to start building that quality connection so that your ex can start to pursue you, to come after you, and that you can start to get back together with them and have the relationship that you really want with them, okay? So head over to relationshipinnergame.com, sign up there, and we'll help you out starting today. Thanks.